Hi. Hala, hala. Claudina here. Hi. See, now serving plastic. Um, yeah, so we are going to just dive right in. I have a ton of packages here that I'm going to be unboxing for you, including, as we know, the new Rainbow High Winter Break dolls. So stay tuned because I'm going to be opening Poppy on this live stream later. But y'all, there is so much coming out. I can hardly keep up. Today, new LOL surprise leaked for the movie line. So we got to see the collector doll. Any thoughts on that? We see that Mermaid High has officially leaked in box. So they are going to be called Mermaid High with mermaid pun names. So I saw one of them is like, it, not Avery, but it was something like C, oh, Sierra. S-E-A, Sierra. And she said <laughs> the icon save, you know, I'm, it was definitely, it's going to cost a lot to all the new dolls. Thank you so much for the love. I see that Sky Game says, I love your hair. Thank you so much. How many dolls did you buy? Well, let's find out. So this is the first package here. I honestly have no idea what's in some of these boxes because I was in New York. So I missed out on a lot of, um, boxes that came in. I was in New York the past three days up until today. And so I got a ton of packages at my door. Dolls and lizards. Thank you so much for the super chat. Be sure to get a super chat. If you really want me to see your message, I forgot. Um, <laughs> I forgot about you. Well, I forgot about, about me too. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Welcome back. So in this box, okay. So in here we have Music Festival Abby from Monster High and OG. What does everybody think of the Music Festival line? I just saw this and I like needed to have it. But there is like a sticky stain on the front of the packaging. Does anybody know how to remove that? Because I actually don't know. I have seen some posts in the past before where people show how you're able to remove that. Um, I guess I'll just put that here for now. So there is Abby. And then we have Venus. This was one of my favorite Venus dolls ever. So she has her VIP badge. Um, I'm going to be leaving these ones in the box because it's part of my um, inbox collection. Someone says Gugon. So Rachel Gren Grenier, Grenier, I want to make sure I pronounce her name correctly. Um, Gugon. I'm going to try Gugon because I definitely like don't want there to be like stickiness all over the front. You just removed it with warm water. I feel like if you're able to remove it from with warm water for mine, like whatever this stain is, they probably would have done that. Hey, Cat Valentines, the music festival line walked so Coachella could run. <laughs> this was definitely a really cute line. I feel like they, um, for a budget line, there's a lot of detail for Monster High. Like this was, this was giving. I love this suede. I love the different patterns. I love her hair having like, um, like a sound wave on it. I don't know if y'all can really see that, but isn't that so cool? Like all the detail on here is everything. Yeah, it is. It is kind of gross. Um, do I have the BTWs? Those are going to be part of this video as well. So just keep on a watching. Next package. <laughs> um, this, it's not actually from Amazon because there's the fragile sign. So this definitely came from um, eBay. But let's see what I can get open. I'm told that my knife work makes people anxious. So um, I, ha I have anxiety. Just knives don't make me anxious. Other things being invalidated makes me anxious. That knife is a mood. You know, I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad people can relate. Oh, 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 the legend, the icon the last of the music festival line. Well, not the last. Technically, there's still Dracula and Claude. Claudine! So this is one of my favorite Claudines ever. Thank you so much, Now Serving Plastic. Um, it seems like there's some damage to the box here. Like there's some water damage, which I'm a little annoyed by, but whatever. Um, she is gorgeous. I've always loved this Claudine. For me, she was like my Beyonce doll because she has the uh, caramel highlights in her hair. Um, so yeah, the outfit was never my favorite fit, but it's still cute. Like it's cute. She's serving. She's giving jumpsuit. She's giving romper. 
I'm going to have to sit differently because my legs hurt, but there's so much on my floor that's a mess that I'm trying to cover. So we ignore her. Um, Claudine looking chic. She's so beautiful. So out of these three music festival dolls, Claudine, Venus, and Abby, what is everybody's favorite? I'm probably, honestly, I feel like this Abby's really underrated. Her screening is beautiful and I love a doll with bangs. Um, I'm gonna say Venus. Venus is probably my favorite from this line, but I'm curious what everyone else's are. Hi, Maria. Someone says Venus, Abby. Abby, Claudine, Claudine, Claudine and Venus for sure. <gasps> Dior Kendall, I can't wait to steal this wig from you. I'm like, here you go. <laughs> you can you can take her. Last package from eBay is shaped like a Monster High doll. Like, I don't know if y'all can really see that, but you know how like Monster High dolls have a very specific coffin shape. You can tell that this is a Monster High doll and there's eBay stickers all over it. So we know it's from eBay. I just don't really know how to open this. I'm gonna try to read comments while I'm opening this. So hold up. So we're gonna cut this open. And while I'm opening this up, um, I know people are always asking me for Monster High updates. There haven't really been any these past couple weeks. I'm surprised because I thought we would get something with all the brass announcements, um, all the LOL announcements. I thought Mattel would wanna compete but it looks like they're under wraps. They're under mummy wraps. Keeping everything sealed in the coffin. <gasps> There's gonna be so much to clean up. There is already so much to clean up in here. But do we see? It's a black and white skull shorts. Frankie, this is actually pretty good condition. It's just a little dusty. But this was the last Skull Shores doll I needed to complete my collection for the Skull Shores budget line. Now I'm just missing the five pack, but I basically completed the Skull Shores line. Who here remembers when she was, I want to say $5, maybe even cheaper, maybe $3 on Black Friday, um, or not Black Friday, the 13th, Friday the 13th. Who remembers that? Is anyone that much of an OG? Um, she was not $5 this time. She was, I want to say I paid 30 for her. She wasn't too expensive, I feel. Offensive Comedy says, OMG, me. Cats Are Lovely says, yeah, she was cheap. Anaya Walter says, yes, bro. So that, can we can we go back to that when Monster High Dolls were like $5 at Walmart? Because now they are so expensive. But I felt like it's been so long since I bought older Monster High Dolls and I want to make sure that I get to complete my claw collection someday. So I decided like, let me get some budget dolls like Music Festival and just get one doll that I needed to complete that but there are some more monster high things that i received so we'll get into that in a second but we know who's next a big box from walmart y'all are gonna be like huh what so this is from walmart and i want to give a huge shout out to dolls and lizards for sending me the link to poppy um for the winter break line poppy and jade i wasn't able to get jade unfortunately because she's literally like my favorite from the line um i mean oh. it's really hard for me to pick favorites from the winter break line because i feel like they're all such amazing quality but inside this box is poppy ah! right off the box like she is so gorgeous like i don't even want to unbox her because this packaging is everything I love the winter um, like frost going around this box packaging. What do we think of her? What do we think of Poppy specifically before we go into rest of the details? Um, everyone's like, don't hurt yourself. I am perfectly fine. I know my way around a knife. Uh, Jade reminds me of Billie Eilish. There's definitely Billie influence in her. She looks cute. Um, oh, I just got that yesterday. Congrats on getting her, Anaya. It's the frost for me. She's glowing. She's literally glowing. So there's so much detail on her that I'm going to break down as I unbox her. But obviously, I want to go over this new packaging, which is exclusive for the winter break line. So up here, it says winter break in beautiful gold letters. It's still in that luxury style packaging, three tier. 
So over here is the the sled, which is a like a it's not a separate part of the box like this. This is a separate part of the box. So the second outfit is a separate part, but these two are the same same part of the box. There's no there's no uh, separator. Then on the back of the box is the artwork of all of the Rainbow High girls. And this was very popular artwork. People are saying it's probably the best Rainbow High art so far. I would say this artwork is stunning. I'm obsessed with their poses, the hair, the outfits. Everything is giving. Rainbow High has to be the best doll on the market right now. Winter Break, without a doubt, best doll to be released in July. There's there Nothing can compete with Winter Break. This is just the epitome of fashion doll and what it should be. I think that this quality should be a standard for fashion doll, but let me go ahead and unbox her and see where we're at. I know people want to know, do they have stands? I see people asking, do they have stands? Um, prices where you can get them. So on the bottom here is the UPC code for anybody who might want that. UPC code for Poppy. Um, again, Dolls and Lizard sent me the link for her on walmart.com and now Serving Plastic sent me some links as well. But I think I sent you, I don't know if you're still here, but I think I sent you the Rainbow High ones. And I know you sent me the ones for the LOLs. Um, so let's go ahead and open her up with the giant knife. So um, do you ever just want to stab? Clap if you ever wanted to stab. <laughs> I'm playing. I mean, <sighs> okay. So there's tape on the side as well as this. And I really don't want to rip this box because I really like the box. I mean, I plan on hopefully, I'm going to ask for these for Christmas so I can get doubles. I see claps, claps. <laughs> We love the claps. I'm glad to hear that I'm not the only one. Um, okay, so no stand in that part of the box. So here's the doll and the sled. And then over here with the additional outfit, there's her stand. So she does include the stand and the hanger. So there is a hanger and a doll stand. She was $27, 27 on walmart.com. 36 in Walmart stores. So I'm not sure if you're able to price match just yet, but if you're able to price match, then you can get them for 27, which is a really good deal. Here's her secondary outfit. I'm just going to leave that in the packaging for right now. But if everybody, if there's enough requests for it, I'll change her outfit into the, the second outfit. Oh, she's so gorgeous. Like look at her, the outfit, the hair, there is hair gel. So it looks like we have hair gel again. The Devois twins did not really have any hair gel in them. So I thought they were they were done with that. But she does have hair gel. She does have a hairbrush. I see someone asked, do they have a hairbrush? Um, you don't have good quality. We're doing this from a webcam, babes. The, this, is the, this is the best quality we're going to get. <laughs> I love her skis. I am obsessed with the fact the skis match the character because, you know, they all have their individualized character. I think that it makes it a little bit limited in how you're able to mix and match, but I don't mind that because I typically just leave the dolls as they come in the, in the packaging. So let's go ahead and unbox her. We know that I don't use scissors to open dolls. So we're going to Griffin's grip, three fingers. We're almost done. Girl. Okay. Well, her skis don't want to come off. <gasps> oh, skis! Okay. So cute. So cute. I know y'all are like probably dragging me for being so aggressive, but that is just what I do. Uh, Tiana Bullock, thank you so much for the compliments on my hair. <gasps> the detail. The details really getting me, y'all. Y'all don't understand. Y'all don't understand. I am obsessed with meticulous detail. It's why I love dolls. Like, it's the reason I'm alive. Um, I did the Griffin's grip with, with my nails and lost a nail. No, no. Okay, so here's the shoes. Look at the butterfly like clip. That buckle detailing. There's a 
oh my gosh, look at the little butterfly detailing. It's fuzzy around the ankles. I'm gonna try to wrap wipe this for a sec. Okay, that did not fix anything. I'm sorry. This is not helping, but um, it's flocked. So it's like fuzzy around the ankles and they are literal skates. They are ice skates. That is so cute. So it looks like the posability got even better. Like look at the way she's able to bend her knee and pose. Then she has her jacket, which is a dress. I, I can't with the detail. Like they just know fashion so well. Ah, wait, I didn't even know that she had a charm on her, her earmuffs. Did I lose one? Is it only the one earmuff? Because mine only has one on one earmuff, but I don't mind. So Chanel number three from Scream Queens. Her hair is in pigtails, which I actually didn't know. Um, so Goblin Girl says the articulation is so nice. I agree. <sighs> pockets. There are pockets that you could actually put things in with a little butterfly charm on the pocket. Um, there is the gold metallic zipper. It doesn't look it doesn't look like it opens up. I think it's stuck shut, but honestly, that's that's fine. This is so cute. Um, the belt, the belt is separate, so you can take the belt off should you choose. And then there's the hoodie with a fur collar. She's really giving. Thank you so much, Cherry Bomb. I feel like a mess because I literally just threw this all on, but the fact that y'all really like this look is giving me, like, it's giving me life. I don't even want to wash the gel out of her hair because it looks so perfect. I'm obsessed. I am obsessed with this poppy. This is probably my favorite poppy now. The whole winter break line is just chef's kiss. And I hope everybody can appreciate that. And I really want to see these dolls sell out this Christmas. Like this is definitely the doll you want for the holidays. I know it's only July. So everyone's like winter in July. Well, one, there are countries where it snows in summer. That's first and foremost. Secondly, I feel like this definitely gives time to like start early Christmas shopping or ask for things early or birthday gifts. Like the winter, the winter break dolls are definitely a must have for doll collectors. If, if this is going to be your first rainbow high purchase, winter break should be your first um, rainbow high purchase. I don't know how to put on the skis. So I'm going to read the instructions. Here are her skis. And I believe if I'm not mistaken that you can like, oh wait. Well, yeah, I need to, I, I might need to put on her other boots for the skis to work. Does anybody else know? We need more Bellas. So I know people were a little upset that Bella wasn't in the winter break line. I think that it's probably a matter of not being able to put more than six dolls in a collection because maybe they just can't afford to like put every character they want in a collection. <gasps> Sailor Neptune vibes. Thank you so much. Lee winks chic. I will definitely take the compliment. Okay. So it looks like you cannot put the skis, the ones with the, the skates, the ice skates in there, but you can put the flat boot in there. And then it shows you the, the earring. I want to make sure that I got everything. Oh, you can put her earmuff earring into your ear. I wouldn't do it because it's like a big, my, the thing in my ear is not big enough for that, but wow. They're really giving. They're always giving. Rainbow High, look, look at that. You can put it. What, oh, I'm a liar. You can put it into her ear. It's her earring. My bad. That's embarrassing. So you can put it into her ear, which I think is really cute. I mean, it's big enough. I feel like you could probably make a prop out of it if you were to glue it to an earring, but it fits in her ear. I really like it on the earmuff because it's so Chanel number three from Scream Queens. Ah, that's embarrassing. Okay. Well, there's her. If y'all want me to... Um, dress her up. Let me know. Wow. Electra Cola, I'm going to need you to calm it down because I, <laughs> I try to correct myself immediately afterwards. A beauty guru we need. You know, I wouldn't consider myself a beauty guru, but I try. I try. So other things that I've gotten 
today, today I got a couple things at the doll show in California. Sherry's doll show is, is oh wait, is her neck articulated? It is. Her neck is articulated. So you can pivot her head up, down, left, right. So they really did that. Oh, and also the painted nails, the painted nails. We need to appreciate. If there's anything else that I should mention about her, please let me know. I'm not like the, it looks like the leg articulation was improved. These are going to be amazing for stop motion. I feel like I have not seen enough rainbow high stop motions, but now that their heads pivot, I think we're going to see some more. Um, I did see the 2020 collector, LOL, which I am so excited for. I think the detail on her is amazing. Update on Jet Dawson. Um, her pre-order goes up tomorrow. So you're going to be able to pre-order Jet tomorrow. Here is one thing that I got today at the doll show in California. I've never gotten these, but they're by Rock Candy and they're Monster High vinyls. So on the side here are all the original ghouls. And on the back, it gives some details about her. It actually updated her, her age. I've never seen this. Age is 115 days old, but some parts of me are older than others. Personal Monstra, which is which is a newer addition. That wasn't always a part of this. This is also by Funko, which I didn't realize. Um, did Spirit Queen leak? She did leak. So we're going to talk about leaks in maybe like 10 minutes. So keep on watching because I will discuss all the new leaks that leaked since my last video. Um, personal Monstra. I try. I mean, I try everything. I like to explore and experience and love everything the world has to offer. Monster Quirk. Sometimes my stitches come loose and it's like my limbs have a brain of their own. When I offer you a hand, don't be shocked if I mean literally. Biggest pet peeve. Every morning when I come upstairs, my father insists on grinning and shouting, it's alive. So that is the Monster High rock candy figure. Um... I will set that aside. I have like no room on my makeup table to put all this stuff. We are still going to let me know. Just, I don't, I don't feel like changing her outfit because I'm lazy, but I will, if everybody really wants me to put her in her second outfit. Um, her second outfit is this plaid orange jacket with a peach, uh, co corduroy dress. And, um, I can't tell what the T is, but it's a white t-shirt. I love how you talk when you read descriptions. I'm so, like, news reporter. Other things I got at the doll show today. This play set was $20. They put $25, but they gave it to me for $20. And I'm hoping... Okay, it came off. So, um, I haven't had this play set in so long. It's Draculaura's powder room. So, it includes her, her bath. Um, this little towel that is so cute and so detailed. And then... Her toothpaste, she has a perfume bottle. I think that's a loofah or it's like a like a tea mug and then a lipstick up here on the top right with a bat tray that fits into the bath. I always loved her artwork because the hair is really cool. So they actually created a powder room Draculaura. Oh wait, this isn't her, oh yeah, this is her powder room. Um, the other thing is her bed. I'm pretty sure they created a powder room Draculaura doll. Yeah, yes, because she came with her playset. duh because I always love the kimono that she's in or the robe. So I'm going to read this on the back. Um, as I, as I read this, can everyone tell me, did y'all buy play sets and do you buy play sets? Like, I feel like doll play sets aren't really as popular as I thought. I always love doll play sets because I love playing with my dolls, like in the play sets. But how many of y'all plan on getting the play sets coming out this year? Like the Rainbow High car, the Rainbow High school. If Monster High came out with more play sets, would you buy Monster High play sets? Um, I always bought the play sets because I'm obsessed. But it says fang brush and fang paste for a totally biteable smile. You're never too old for a bubble bath, and I should know, because she's 1,600. A mirror to reflect on. Hmm, maybe I'll just keep my reflection to myself. And then you can not you can see that she can't actually see her reflection. This bath tray is like a little bridge over bubbled waters. And so that clings on to the side of the bath. And then on the top it says, my claw-footed tub is totes relaxing. Ooh, ooh, ah. That's her bathtub. I'm not really a fan of, oh wait, Nova, Nova Stan says, I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly. I'm not really a fan of play sets, but I'm thinking about buying the new LOL car. The Tesla, I really want the new LOL car. Like I am so excited for that. Um, QWERTY says, I like play sets. 
Lee Winks Sheik says, I recently bought the Brat Salon and Spa. Oh, one of my faves. Um, when will LOL OMG opposites release? So I did promise to discuss new leaks in like five more minutes, but I will say that they are already out. So the new LOL OMG opposites are out. They were on walmart.com. I was able to get Sunshine Girl, um, but she was back ordered. So I was supposed to get her yesterday, but she didn't end up coming. They are in stores because my local Walmart, I went there and they said they should have it in two days, but that it's like in the stock room. Um, I didn't get Moonlight, but I got Sunshine and I just don't have her in hand, but I do have some LOLs to show y'all over here and some more Monster High. What I also got some other things at the doll show. Oh, so thank you so much to Dominatrix who got me this freak douche Twyla. She's a little beat up. Should I do a doll cleaning video? I have so many like older dolls that I could clean up and fix, but you know, she's, she's gone through some things. I also got, which I can't believe, I mean, she's nude, but it is the Gloom and Bloom Cleo, who I went on eBay to check. She's like $300. When did she become $300? Oh, I see Ross said, please doll cleaning vid. Grace says, yes, please. Okay. So I'm seeing lots of people who would like to see a doll cleaning video. So I have tons of old dolls that I could clean up that I could do. Um, she's a little beat up and loved as well. So maybe doll cleaning video on this Cleo, but she got so expensive. And for what? Her and Jennifer are definitely my favorites of the, the Gloom and Bloom line, but I cannot afford $300. So hopefully that goes down someday. Also from the doll show, I got this Zendaya doll. So this was from... Um, shake it up but I had to have her and I have to clean her up as well because you know she has some marker stains on her face but I'm obsessed with Zendaya and I love the Disney VIP line so I had to get her and then I got two new fashion royalty bodies so a lot of people ask me what is the body I use for my Mycene dolls and these are them so they're fashion royalty new face bodies this is this says it's um Industry 1.0 Latino skin tone. So I got two of those. So I think they're both, yeah, they're both industry bodies. I thought they were new face, but they might be the same. I really don't know much about integrity dolls. How do you remove Sharpie off of a doll? I want to do a video on cleaning up dolls, but you use benzol peroxide and put it in the sun is like the short explanation. But there's tons of tutorials on YouTube that teach you how to do it. Um, I was just watching Casey Undercover, Matilda Green says. I've never actually watched Casey Undercover. I know it stars the iconic and beautiful Zendaya, but I just, I've never watched it. Should I give it a try? I have this new Barbie, which I'm going to open up in a second, but I do want to go back to LOL Surprise because I promise to give out those details on the leaks. So here is... Some BTWs that I got. These are everywhere. They're in Walmart. They're in Target. I found mine at Walmart. Um, they're $19.99. I put the link in the description if you want to get them on Amazon now. They're available now. There's actually links in the description for anybody who wants to buy some of the new dolls I've been talking about. Amazon affiliates. So use my Amazon affiliates if you plan on getting anything because that'll help me out. Hi, Alessandra. Um, okay, LOL leaks. So today we got to see the movie magic ultra surprise pack or like super surprise pack with two new characters, which I'm going to pull up the picture of because I think that they are really cool. I'm most excited for the collector though, because I let, let me just show y'all. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, but the best way I could show is through my phone. Okay, hold up. Let me get these pictures together. There's also the Rainbow High Trunk. So we will discuss that leak as well because there's more details on that. And that trunk should be coming out pretty soon. So let me see. Cherry BB is on my, oh, Cherry BB is my favorite BTW. Um, Freshest was my favorite, but then I got Cherry and I really love just Cherry's, her graphic liner, her hair. Thank you everyone for the compliments. Y'all are so sweet. 
I am almost done with these photos to show you all. So we're gonna go into the new LOL OMGs that leaked as well as the new Rainbow High playset fashion pack trunk thing. Um, okay. So these are the two new OMGs. And as we can see, their second outfits are down here. So this is like the fur coat. And then here is the denim jacket. I actually really love them. I didn't love the artwork of them at first. But seeing the actual dolls, I am obsessed. I cannot wait to get my hands on these. And their second outfits are really giving. So what does everybody think of these? Let me know. I don't know if this is the complete finalized product, but I'm obsessed. Then we have the 2021 collector who I am in love with. I really love the collector. Look at the crescent moon display that she comes with. Look at that. It's fully metallic. It's so detailed and she is a must have. So I will definitely be getting two of her because I need one out of box and I need one in box. As we can see like my crystal up here, I always get one in box, one out of box of the collectors. And I'm obsessed with her. The fur, she is just giving, like, she's kind of giving me RuPaul's Drag Race. Like, I could so see her as, like, a queen on Drag Race. But, wow. I am obsessed. Um, Nova Stan says, I'm addicted to the collector doll. Mimi says, so cute. Serious question. Should I buy Skull Shores Draculaura? I had her before, but they got pretty pricey. Well, I think, for me, I would say... If it's a doll that you feel like is really important to you or that you're really excited for that you know if you would have, you would cherish, then do do what feels right for you. Um, if you feel like you'd rather save up and get new dolls or a different doll, then do whatever your gut is telling you. So yeah, moment to, to soak in on this collector. These, I believe, all come out September 25th. If I'm not mistaken, based on last year with Remix, everything should come out on the 25th. Subject to change, not entirely sure. This pack will be $134.99 and then she will be $50. Just a must have. Um, the new Rainbow High trunk playset or closet. I keep saying trunk, but it's the closet. So here are the six pairs of shoes that it comes with. Here is another picture of the closet. And then here is the outfits. I love these outfits. The off-white reference on the belt, the split hoodie for Jade, the rainbow cross-stitch jeans. Everything about this is just, yes. I really love these outfits. This has been very controversial because it's $59.99. Personally, I feel like the acrylic is probably expensive. So that's likely what is causing that price, that price point. But um, now serving plastic says the closet is my fave. I'm really excited for the closet as well. I'm glad to see some fellow love because I feel like not a lot of people said that they were excited for the closet. They said that it's too expensive, but I really like it. Um, it's the poppy top for me. Let me check that out. It's totally worth $60. I agree. You helped me so much in my life, Claudina. You are such an awesome person and you are such a queen. Stella's mini world. Thank you so much for taking the time to even write that message. I really appreciate it. And I'm glad that I could inspire you in any way. You deserve it. You deserve to love and live your life freely. I talk a lot about my own struggles in my life on my channel in hopes that like other people can relate. And so I feel like whenever people let me know that I've made their day better, it makes my day better. So thank you. Um, yeah, the trunk is, is really giving. Oh, Poppy's top. I didn't realize that was Poppy's. Is the butterfly. She's always with the butterflies and it's knitted. Look at that. New textures on the clothing um, or textiles. This, this hoodie is probably my favorite. This is something I would wear. So I'm really excited for that. Um, so I do have the BTWs. Here we have hoops. I have fancy girl. I mean, I have all four, but if you want to see these more in detail, I did do a YouTube video. My last YouTube video where I talk about every doll that's coming out, 
check that video out if you want to see these in more detail because I show them off on camera there. Um, and then I have Freshest unboxed back there somewhere with Miss Glam. I see Miss Glam. Miss Glam is so cute. Some other dolls I get. Huge shout out to my friend Steven who got me these or gave me these. He didn't they weren't purchased with the intent for me, <laughs> but um, thank you so much to Steven. First edition, Abby. A first wave Abby. Look at her. She is giving, and this is the packaging with the um, the animation on the back. So for those of you who don't know, the very first release of Abby has dolls. So as opposed to them being um, cartoons, they're actually dolls, but this is how we know it's the second release of her. Uh, we also can tell by her facial screening that this is the second release because the first release was made in Indonesia and she had bigger eyes. We can see that there's a price tag up here for $19.99. So a steal. Um, love her. D who else had first edition Abby when she first came out in 2011? Let's go back to 2011. Who here had Abby? Abby and Spectra were like my all-time favorite Monster High dolls back in that time because Spectra's clear limbs and Abby's glittery skin. Like, when do you get a doll like that? When do you get a doll like that? And all the fur, there's just so much detail. The little key, Monster High was meticulous and I really hope that they come back with the same level of quality. Uh, Keviana's Corner, did I pronounce that correctly? Or Seviana's Corner. Or Savannah's, Kivana's Corner. I got it for my birthday. Um, Pretty Lou, Pretty La Ariana says also Claude. Claude and Draculaura, yes, those came out at that time too. Um, why do you like Monster High and Bratz? I mean, I just, I find it pretty hard not to like all dolls. I grew up on Bratz first. So Bratz, I was into in 2007 when Girls Really Rock first came out. Uh, maybe it was like 2008, but... I was really into the movies and my niece had a lot of Bratz dolls that I was able to play with. So Bratz is my reintroduction to dolls. But then Monster High was like when I really got dolls for myself and Monster, like both doll lines are really sentimental to me and really important to me. So Bratz and Savannah, I am so sorry for mispronouncing it a million times. I was like, I'm going to make sure I pronounce this correctly. <laughs> um, but Monster High, I feel like, just taught me a lot about myself and was there for me as a kid. Like, all my Monster High dolls, I would say, like, you know, those were my best friends. <laughs> um, but Bratz, same same thing. Because when I was 10, I got my first Bratz doll of my own, which was Talking Yasmin and Party Yasmin. Um, so those were, were my thieves. But also, I got 13 Wishes Cleo. So another playset. Follow-up question to the playset thing. Do we prefer playsets with dolls or playsets by themselves? Because when the playset includes a doll, it's a little bit more expensive. So I think this retail at 30 at the time of its release in 2013. But if it was just the playset, it'd probably be 20 maybe. But do we prefer playsets with dolls or without a doll? Because I feel like recent playsets haven't had dolls, like the Rainbow High car, the school, any of LOL's play sets, they never really have dolls, but tots, they come with tots sometimes. Um, someone says with always, with doll, with doll, with doll. Everyone's saying with doll. So are we going to see a return of that sometime? I wonder why play sets haven't included dolls recently, it seems like. But I kind of miss it too. I loved a doll exclusive play set. It made me want to get the play set more. Um, and it, it just, it fits so well with the play set without so I can get them separate. Alessandra says, I see everyone else saying with doll. Another one of my favorite, this was my favorite playset ever from Monster High. I just played so much with the Coffin Bean and it was a pivotal, like not pivotal, but it was like a very important piece in my collection. Any playset with Claudine really was my favorite, like her her dead tired bed, um, which came out around the same time as this doll. But Coffin being Claudine was one of my favorites because she was the first Claudine to have bangs. And I love a ponytail. So her high ponytail with the studded hair piece was just so fierce. And then the whole playset having the cash register and the just, just all of it was everything to me. It was the first Monster High couch too, I believe, and chair. 
and they're so ornate. So whoever designed this playset, I don't know who designed the coffin bean playset, but it's everything. And it's definitely still like very sentimental to me. Um, so there's that. Now, as I put that away, what was your favorite playset with growing up? It doesn't have to be Monster High. Any playset that you had growing up, was it a car? Was it a house? Was it a lounge, kind of like the coffin bean? What was your favorite doll playset? Overall, um, I have the doll, but not the playset. For for Claudine, the doll is really cute on her own, so you can't pass her up. Um, hey, Claudine, I have a question. Are you excited for the new Rainbow High Dream House or Dorm House playset coming out soon? I am really excited for it. I see that you said you're saving up for it, so. I am empowering you. I'm proud of you for saving towards it because that is saving is so hard. Um, I am really excited for it. Uh, Benji2620 says Barbie car. Jacqueline Gonzalez says Calico Critters. My favorite playset, Annabelle, Annabella Ella Ella says my favorite playset was probably the Barbie Dream House. Ooh, that was a good one. That was a, I mean, there's so many Barbie dream houses, but my favorite was the life in the dream house, dream house and the, the vending machine, the shoe vending machine. And, um, what was the other place that that was with that? There was the shoe vending machine and something else, but oh, life in the dream house, such a good era. Astro light says my little pony rainbow castle. Um, now serving plastic. I still have my Barbie, uh, fold and fun house. I believe I saw that at the doll show today was the, there was, I mean, there was so much Barbies at the doll show today. I have the diner with Operetta. I actually don't have that anymore. The diner with Operetta was such an amazing place set. One of my favorites. The one with Draculaura and Operetta was probably my favorite because it's two dolls. Oh no, is it lagging? It doesn't say it's lagging on my end, but if it's lagging, I am sorry. Um, so this is a Barbie that I got to style. I didn't like, a lot of people were correcting me on the verbiage because it's not like I made it myself. Um, but you get to pick your own pieces. So Barbie styled by you is from FAO Schwarz. And let's, let's talk about her. <laughs> um, so the packaging opens this way. She is, you get to choose from seven different Barbie fashionistas. This is the one that I chose. I'm going to lower her a little bit. I feel like this should have been around her waist. Um, So she was $75. You get a Barbie fashionista and then one, two, three, four drawers of, of pieces. So the bottom is like the accessories you get to pick. The second drawer is the shoes. And then um, the third, the third drawer or the, the rest of the drawers are her outfits. So I feel like obviously you're paying for the experience. You're not paying for the doll because you, I added it up and it looks like you can get this for $30 retail. I also love the packaging. I see people saying they love the packaging. Um, I would say I would love if they created some way that you could like create your own face and hair. And like, I wish it was at least articulated. I was asking them, I said, can you switch the heads onto different bodies? Like what if I wanted this head, but on a petite body? And they said, no, they just come as is. So Mm. Uh, Alex says the $70 is definitely fun for the experience. Yeah. It's like, it's for the experience of doing it there. And like you get this special box, but she is just a regular Barbie fashionista and all the play sets and, and outfits that they sell, you know, you can, you can get on your own. So she was, she was fun. I don't regret it, but I got it. So other people could, could see. And I think, you know, the overwhelming response from people was, uh, was a big no. Um, Astro Light says, Claudina, what do you think of Skylar Winter Break? She is probably my favorite Skylar as well. I mean, the whole Winter Break line is my favorite of any of the Rainbow High dolls. They, I haven't even seen half of them in person, but just the detail, the quality, the understanding of fashion and design and dolls, like Poppy is so good. So good. Skylar and Jade are definitely my favorites from the line with Sunny and Ruby being next, but it's so hard because I love Poppy so much too. And I don't feel like she's like lesser than the others. So I can't rank them. It's so hard for me to rank them because they're all so good and they're all so different in their design. Um, now serving plastic winter line is killing it. 
right? Uh, Magic Cookies World says, why do you like slash love Claudia? Claudine, I'm assuming you mean Claudine. Um, I just think that as a kid, I, I was very shy and Claudine had this bravery and fierceness to her that I wanted for myself. And her having a big family, you know, I have a, a big family. I have five older siblings. I have 10 nieces and nephews. And Claudine having a big family felt representative of that as well. I totally get like fighting with your siblings. Um, she's also just so protective and like loyal to her friends that I think that's partly why I also gravitate towards Claudine. But her designs too. Like I really liked her dolls. I think they were really fun. Like the ghouls rule Claudine is so powerful. Um, Scaris Claudine, another amazing doll. She just really inspires me. Winterline is going to make me go broke. Right. $36 a doll is going to be more, it's going to be like over $200. So, <laughs> um, they're definitely going to make me go broke. I know that much, but they're worth it. They are well worth it. Like just the detail on these dolls is next level. These are everything. I've been trying so hard to Walmart hunt and find them. They You can find them now at Walmart. That's where winter break is showing up. Someone said they found Ruby at Target. I know the car, the new color change car is showing up at Target and Walmart, but I've only ever seen winter break dolls at Walmart. So there she is. Um, That was my, my doll haul. That was everything. I think Poppy is probably my favorite from this whole thing that I got. Like, obviously I love the Monster High dolls because they're sentimental and they're going into my collection, but Poppy hits different. <laughs> um, Target is where they show up more. Wait, really? The winter break line? I saw them more at Walmart. I've been seeing everyone say they found them at Walmart. Savannah says, no, don't leave us. I have to, okay, I'm so tired. I'm about to get like undressed take off my makeup and shower and put all these dolls away because my room is a literal disaster. But I've been working really hard on some new YouTube videos for you. Here's what you can expect. More nostalgic videos discussing movies and ranking movies and doll villains. Um, Monster High characters that... Well, this is more of a theories video, but like if you're a Monster High fan, you're going to really enjoy the new videos. And if you're a Rainbow High fan or an LOL fan, you know I love to cosplay. You know I like to be very accurate to the dolls. So be on the lookout to some very accurate cosplays to the upcoming characters. I'm not gonna say who just yet, but expect some upcoming cosplays. Um, before I leave, I wanna say happy birthday to Savannah's Corner. Happy birthday to anyone whose birthday it is. I hope that everyone has an amazing rest of your night. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, turn on notifications and subscribe so you never miss the tea on the toys you love. Thanks for watching. See ya. Thank you for making this such a fun live. Love y'all.